Ladies and gentlemen, people of the internet, I am Richard Leland Neal. This is Random Street Theater. And for every thousand subscribers I get, I purchase something like a bracelet from the company 4Ocean. And 4Ocean pulls a pound of trash out of the ocean every time I do that. Now, some of their stuff is half off right now because they need to clear their inventory. This would be a good time for me to buy and a great time for us to support them because they need it. So if you ever cared about the environment, maybe suggest the next movie you want me to watch. Possibly give this video a like. Maybe even share it with your friends. Or if the favorites list is still a thing, you can do that. Anyway, so... I don't know how easy it is to see here, but... Penance Lane is a 2020 TV-14 horror film. So, what does that mean? It means that there will be lots of blood and gore, a few sexual references, but no nudity. And it is about a ex-convict by the name of Crimson Matthews. And Crimson Matthews has come up to... Penance Lane to find loot that was stashed by his cellmate. In addition to the, uh, the loot that was stashed by his cellmate, apparently a priest is paying people to restore Penance Lane to its former glory. Penance Lane was once the house of the, it's complicated, mill owner whose mill was the prophet of the town. Now that the mill owner is gone, or the mill is gone, the mill owner is running around as a hobo, and yeah, look, it's kind of complicated, but you've got an ex-con living in an old house looking for $3 million, okay? And he's an ex-con, so when stuff starts to go down, he doesn't call the police, all right? Makes, makes really good sense, okay? And then, you know, there's the plot hole, which kind of disembowels this. It's like, yeah, there's a lot going on in this movie, and that's a bad thing. I have to say that otherwise, for what it is, it's a really good movie. Now, I know people don't really agree with me. It's getting a 4.7 out of 10 on IMDb. But, I mean, up until you get hit with the, the massive plot hole, this movie is every bit as good as Nightmare on Elm Street. Not minus the blood and gore, of course. You don't get that much of that, but it's... It's that level of writing. Now, the sets look like sets. That's the major sets which are within the house. It looks like somebody made that. It looks like it was a Halloween house. And somebody said, oh, we got a Halloween house here. You know, one of those, uh, those walk-through things. And we're not using it because, you know, the COVID. So let's, let's get out there and, and do something in here. This came out in April, so... Probably it was just sitting around. But, you know, they might have used an old house. It's possible. And again, you know, when you get into, like, the character design, the monsters, uh, I guess you'd call them monsters in this movie, are actually really well done. There's a clear backstory behind all of them. This is a great piece of filmmaking for what it is. And my kitty will not stop crying. That is my greatest horror movie. A little kitty that just no matter what you give her, she won't stop crying. In any case, I say Penance Lane, it is currently free on Amazon Prime. Put it on your watch list. It's a great movie. It's got some dumb parts, but what movie does? Greetings, Americans. I am Borgoff. 
Just border golf, regular blue border golf, not stealth border golf, not can't see the blood of my enemies border golf, just border golf, reminding you to like and subscribe to this video or I shall use ancient Russian chokehold on you. We'll make your toes pop! Then I will eat them because in Russia there is not much food. Comment and like on this video. And you can see more of me on Absurd TV!